So the transition then to being a UN agency has overall gone smoothly and without much surprise. We were already largely in the UN. Any adjustments we've made have been easily offset <clears throat> by very positive advantages. We now have a seat at the table, a voice in the dialogue. We now have access to information and funding, which we did not have before. We are widely respected, more widely respected, more frequently cited in and by the media, and being asked to take on more and more responsibility than before joining the UN. The branding, positioning, and marketing of IOM, however, is going to be an ongoing challenge given the complexity of migrants, migration, the fact that migrants come in so many forms, and given the toxic atmosphere in which we have to operate. <clears throat> in all of these regards, your decision as member states to keep these two member state working groups going on, the UN and the other one on the budget, has proved to be very prudent, and I thank you for that. It's come increasingly clear to me that IOM is coming into its own as an organization. The one characteristic that perhaps most accurately describes where IOM is today, it is that of growth. And you will see it on the charts coming up on your screen here. We've grown in every area. Phenomenal growth in number of projects, number of staff, number of member states, all reflected in a global ex and continuing expansion. We are currently within the UN system, number five in terms of staff, number eight in terms of budget, and I think most proudly, number one in terms of feet on the ground, 